Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for 30 days of yoga. Um, so this series has been created for January, Yoganuary, but you could be doing this at any time. The idea is with this uh, 30 days of yoga is to see us through um, some different practices, learning about breath work, some meditation, um, and it will be suitable for all levels. There'll be different options throughout. There will be some stronger practices, some more gentle practices. Um, but the idea is, is over these 30 days, doing a one practice a day, if, if you can, or you can spread it out more, if that works better for you. Um, but the idea is, is keeping up this consistency of this beautiful practice and feeling the benefits of the space within your body, your mind, um, having this kind of holistic approach to our health and coming into the new year if you are doing this in January as a really nice way to ground and um, let go of last year and make that space to welcome in the new and you are ready so sitting your hips to your heels and melting the chest and the forehead down towards the mat closing off the eyes or taking a steady gaze Breathing into the back of the body, the sides. And trying to have your head connected to something here, whether that's the mat or your block or your hands. Having this connection helps us to come into our rest and digest part of the nervous system. So allowing your body to be heavy. And then coming on to your fingertips here, I want you to take an inhale and really gently lift the chest slightly. On your exhale, melting everything back down to the mat. So really subtle movement, just move with your breath. Inhale, lifting the chest. <clears throat> exhale, melting back down. Inhale, gently lifting. Exhale, melting down. Inhale, gently lifting. Exhale, breathing out anything that's not serving you, anything that you want to let go of. And then coming away from having the hands on the fingertips, start to walk the hands over to the right, finding a stretch through the left side body, option to place one hand. So you can place that left hand over the top of the right hand here to increase the stretch. So still staying low in your child's pose. Balasana. Now walking the hands through center over to the other side. So over to the left side, right hand can come on top of the left if that feels good. Finding that opening into the right side of the body. Walk the hands back to centre, inhale, lift the hips away from the heels so you're in your all fours position now. Moving into some cat and cow, inhale, send the gaze out in front, open across the chest, let the belly drop. Exhale, we drop the head round the spine, draw the belly button in. Inhale, lift the gaze, open across the chest. Exhale, drop the head around the spine. 
And last one, inhale, shining the heart forwards. And exhale, finding that rounding. And coming back to a neutral position now. Grounding through the left hand. Inhale and sweep that right hand up to the ceiling. Follow with the gaze. Exhale, float it back down. Inhale, reach the left hand up to the sky. Exhale, back down once more on each side. Inhale, right hand lifts away. Exhale, float it back down. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale, float it back down. Tuck the toes under, walk the feet in, find a standing forward fold. So feet roughly hip width, take as much bend as you need to through the legs and let the head hang heavy. You can bring the hands to the elbows if that feels good to shift a bit of weight into the balls of the feet. Really finding that opening into the back of the body. Taking deep breaths here. Just remembering to listen to your body. If anything feels too much at any time or you need to take a rest, you can always come back to your child's pose. And then we're going to bring this left hand down to the mat or you're going to take the left hand to a block to give you more space. Bend through that left knee. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up to the sky. Finding a little twist here. Option to bring this right arm around the back of the body. No worries if that's not for you. Maybe the right hand can find the left thigh. Gaze coming up to the ceiling. Again, this is just an add-on option. You don't have to take it. Nice, unraveling. Come to the other side. So right hand's coming to the block or the mat. Right leg's bending. Inhale, reach the left fingertips up to the sky. Follow with the gaze. Breathing here, option to wrap that left arm around the back of the body. Maybe the hand finds the right thigh. That is just an option. Sending the gaze up to the ceiling. And release. And then bring your hands to your hips. Keep as much softness as you need to in the legs. Inhale, draw the belly in, lift the chest, come up to standing. Shake out the hands, the arms here. One of my favorites, if you did my mindful morning series in December. That's still, of course, on this channel if you want to take a look at that once you've done your 30 days of yoga. Um, we did some of this shaking out on there. And to be honest, a lot of my practices, I love this one. It's such a nice way to release tension from the body, to let go of any energy that you need to release, anything that's not serving you. Shaking it out. <laughs> Right, and just rest the arms now by the side of the body. Check in with your alignment with the feet, so feet roughly hip width apart. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, lift your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. So coming into our Surya Namaskar A now, our Sun Salutation A. So inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, find your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, step or jump the feet back to plank. Option to drop the knees straight down if you need to, fingers nice and spread. Just pause here for a moment, checking in with that center line of energy through the body. Exhale, drop the knees down to the mat. 
Keep the elbows tucked in, lower the chest down so you're lying on your belly. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, peel the chest away from the mat cobra. Tops of the feet pressing to the mat, activating the legs and the glutes. Exhale, release your chest back down to the mat. Inhale, press the mat away with your hands and exhale, downward facing dog. Now you can always come through your tabletop position first before taking your downward facing dog. So just adding in that step if you need it. Really press into the fingers into your mat, especially the thumb and the first finger. Lifting the hips to the sky, start to take a little pedal out through the feet. Reconnecting to your breath and checking in with the body. How does your body feel today? How does the breath feel? There's no right or wrong. Inhale, send the gaze between hands, step or jump the feet in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, bend the legs as much as you need to. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, lift up and out from the waist. Exhale, hands come through to heart center and Jali Mudra. So stepping this left foot back, so big step back, find your warrior two position now. So right legs bent, left legs lengthen. So the side of this left foot's in line with the side of the mat. Fingertips reaching away, gaze over the right fingertips. Relax the shoulders, try and sink into that right leg. And we'll flow our warrior here. So inhale, reaching up to the sky, lengthening the front leg. Exhale, float back down to warrior two. Two more, inhale, lifting and lengthening. Exhale, floating back down. And last one, inhale, really lift up and out from the pelvis. Exhale, floating back down. Take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, come over your front leg, finding your extended side angle. So your right forearm's coming to your right thigh, or this right hand could be coming to a block or down to the mat, depending on what's in your practice, what feels right for you today. Always honoring what your body needs on the day that you're doing this practice not what your body did yesterday or what it might be doing tomorrow, where your body is today and what you need today, being in the present moment with yourself. Inhale, float back to your warrior two. And turning into a wide leg stance now, Toes pointing forwards, hands on the hips. Inhale, reach the crown of your head to the ceiling. Exhale, start to fold forwards, keeping the spine long. Prasarita Padatanasana. So you can stay higher up. You could come to the halfway point here, or you can come further down, bringing the hands down to the mat. Walking the hands through if that's in your practice and dropping the head, but that is just an option. Bring a little bit of weight into the balls of the feet. Then bringing the hands back to the hips, inhale, slowly lift the chest, so keeping the spine nice and long, coming away from the fold. Back to center, and we're gonna step the feet in and find our tree pose now. So grounding into this right leg. Open your left knee out to the side. You can always keep the toes connected. You can use a wall to support you, or you're gonna bring that foot to the calf or the inside of the thigh. 
hand staying at heart center, breathing here. So pressing the foot into the leg, the leg back into the foot, really strong center line of energy and finding your drishti, your focus point. That's such a key part of our balance is that focal point somewhere out in front. Well done, and release. Releasing from your tree, take a big step back out, and we're gonna float the hands around to frame that front foot. Step the front foot back. If you wanna take a child's pose here before we come to the other side, you absolutely can, so take that now. Or you're gonna take a vinyasa. So either dropping the knees down, inhaling into cobra, or you're gonna take an upward facing dog. And then exhaling, meeting back in your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips to the sky, pressing the mat away with your hands. Inhale, we step the left foot through between the hands and open out, find your warrior two. So left leg's bent, right leg's lengthened. Gaze comes over the left fingertips, relax the shoulders and we'll flow our warrior here. So inhale, lifting up and out from the waist. Exhale, floating down to your warrior two. Inhale, lift the ribs away from the hips, sweep the arms up, lengthen the leg. Exhale, float back down. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, floating back to your warrior two, pausing here. Take an inhale, on the exhale, find your extended side angle. So left forearm coming to left thigh, or that left hand. Could be coming to a block or the mat. Finding your breath, staying with your breath, observing if you're holding the breath at all. Just allowing the breath to flow as freely as you can. And inhale, float back to your warrior two. And we'll open back to our wide leg stance on the mat. Hands come to hips, toes pointing forwards. Inhale, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Keep the spine long, coming into the fold. And breathing where you need to be in the pose. You can keep a slight bend through the legs if you need to. Really checking in with the hamstrings, the backs of the legs. Practicing a himza. So when we think about a himza, that's our non-violence, non-harming, which includes how we are towards ourselves as well as others. So having compassion for ourself, our body. Hands come back to the hips, inhale, lift the chest, keep the spine long, drawing the belly in. Coming back to center, step the legs in together and we'll find our tree pose now on the other side so grounding through the left leg open that right knee out to the side you can keep the foot connected to the mat if you wish or you can bring the foot to the calf or the inside of the left thigh and find your drishti find that focus point and no worries if you're wobbling falling in and out just know that that is a valid part of this practice, of this journey. 
Balance can feel very different on different days and that's okay. Just remember that you have shown up on your mat today for this practice. You've shown up for yourself, given yourself this time. And releasing from your tree pose, coming back to Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up to the sky, lift the ribs away from the hips. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forwards, bend your legs as much as you need to. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, step the feet back and drop your knees straight down. So you're coming back down to this tabletop position here. And then we're going to walk the hands in and come up to a high kneeling position, legs are parallel. And you're going to bring the hands to the lower back and squeeze the elbows in towards each other. So we're going to find a modified baby camel today. Now again, you could come straight to your child's pose here if you're ready to wind down for the practice. So there's always that option. So we want to inhale and reach the crown of the head up to the ceiling, engaging the legs, the glutes, and we're pressing the hips forwards. On the exhale, starting to send the gaze towards the ceiling. Keep squeezing the elbows in together, opening across the chest, pressing the hips forwards. And you can start to drop the head back more if that's in your practice, if that feels good too. slowly come away from that little baby back bend and we're going to gently sit the hips down to the heels nice and slow taking deep breaths take a little gentle twist from side to side just releasing through the spine and then opening the knees out wide going to take a wide leg child's pose so exhaling as you walk the hands forwards melt the forehead and the chest down to the mat closing the eyes or taking a steady gaze letting go surrendering Imagine any tension, any tightness, any restrictions within the body melting away, breathing that out on your exhale. And observing any parts of you still trying to hold on here. And that's okay. Just acknowledging those parts and giving them permission to let go too. And as we come to an end to this practice, I want you to take a moment to have some gratitude towards yourself for showing up for this practice today. But 
getting on your mat, for being present, for being here in this moment, taking this time out for yourself. When you're ready, you can open the eyes back up, walking the hands back in, coming away from your child's pose. Thank you so much for being here and joining me for this practice, for this 30 days of yoga. Um, please do make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Um, I am offering a free trial um, in the month of January, if this is when you're doing this flow, to my online membership where you also get a free live retreat included in the membership. So do check that out. Um, and the links are all below. Um, but thank you so much for being here and flowing with me um, on this channel and I can't wait to see you for some more flows very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.